How's it going everyone? So iOS 26 public beta is set to be released this upcoming Monday. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some amazing features that Apple not only integrated on the iPhone side of things, but mainly what's new on the Apple Music. So of course, timestamp to everything will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started. So this is an iPhone 16 Pro that we are using. And in the Apple Music app, Apple added some amazing features. One of my personal favorite features is the ability to finally be able to like to pin your albums, your most recently played like stations by just simply long holding. And you'll have this new pin or unpin new tool right here. So now if you notice, if you go into the, your library section, you actually have pin albums, playlists, artists, and songs that you can stack up on here. So to show you a brief, a better demonstration how this works, if we simply long hold, you have the ability to pin the album right above here on your top portion. So it's easier to find certain albums or songs that you like listening to all the way to the very top. And you can simply just long hold if you like to undo something in an unpinned album. Another cool feature can be located in the playlist tab because if you could tap on the plus icon over here, you can finally add folders. So you can name a folder. I'm just going to call it folder one just for demonstration purposes. If I could spell it right, that will be amazing. There we go. Great. And from here, we can add playlists, multiple playlists on one single folder, name it whatever, hit save, and then you can start adding your songs. And if you go back, it'll update, and then you can continue adding more. So if you like to organize your playlist like that, you now have the freedom to do one folder and add multiple playlists instead of this cluster of mess that I have going on now. And if you notice, you can still continue to share the uh, download as well as share it with other people and you go prove collaborations. Now, aside from the new UI change, a confusing feature that I discovered myself, whenever you hit search and you're searching for something, you may be confused like, how do you get back to uh, the old UI toolbar down here? Just tap on home. Kind of interesting, but that was one of the new things they added. And if you long code it, it's that little glass, liquid glass effect, which kind of reminds me more like a uh, raindrop water effect instead. But if we go ahead and listen to like an album that's a full screen album. Yeah, I was watching a lot. I was listening to a lot of VJ recently. But if I hit this song, hit play, obviously you got to lower the audio for copyright purposes. But if you look closely, there's animations in the album. And so long as you're not on low power mode, on your lock screen, you could tap on the album artwork to minimize it like this. Basically, this is the traditional version of the lock page but you may also tap on it to make it into a full screen. And on top here, you still have access to the date as well as the current time. But if you look closely, it's also animated as well. As some of these album artworks, if they're full screen like this one, features lock screen animation, which is a nice little touch. Another cool feature that Apple secretly added is uh, lyrics translations. So we play like a foreign song like K-pop or some type of Spanish hit as an example. So here I have a Spanish hit. Sorry, I'm Spanish. So this is the first song I could think about. Uh, you notice under, on top, it'll, it'll give you the lyrics of the song, but on the very bottom, it will translate to English. If you tap on the screen, you also have the ability to disable that if you don't like. So if you enable it, you could here is where you could decide if you want to hide the translation or include the translation. This is a nice, amazing feature, especially now that you know what you're singing in case you're just reading off the lyrics or just following the vocals, at least now you have a general understanding of what they're saying, you know. If you don't see this feature working on your phone, you are required to go under your iPhone settings. Here on the main page, just scroll down until you find the apps tab. Click on the app tab and just search up music. Click on the music app and then scroll down. And in the lyrics section where it says large text, click on it. And this is where you can enable lyrics, which was the default one or pronunciations. Now this is a similar tool than the translation app because by having this on, if we go to a K-pop song now, so as you notice, we're playing this K-pop song, it's actually doing pronunciation of the wording on the top so you can actually follow along a lot quicker and much more efficient. So that's also a nice little tool right there, additionally to the translation. I know I did two separate things and one single feature for this portion, but I think that was the best way to explain it. But that was pretty cool. 
but one of my most favorite feature has to be the auto mix ability, which matches the current song tone and will automatically synchronize to the next track utilizing Apple intelligence. And this works extremely well, just like what you experience with DJs, Apple could do that with Apple intelligence. And this is a little preview on how that sounds like. And by having this enabled, this will also work with Apple CarPlay as well. So if we switch back to that song that's currently playing, if you like to have access, quick access to your auto mix, just tap on the Q icon on top and you could disable it or enable it right here. When you disable it, it will reverse back to the crossfade one, which will be a fixed crossfade effect between the next track and then the previous track. Also works pretty well, but that's basically old version. The auto mix actually works extremely well. To adjust those two settings, go back to your settings. So previously on the music app, like I previously showed you how to get to, just scroll down where it says audio. And here in the very bottom where it says song transitions, click on it. And then this is where you can check mark, make sure you have auto mix enabled, or you can disable it all entirely if you don't want anything. You just want the next track to just start. But by having this enabled, that's how you can enable the auto mix ability. And then in the bottom is where you can reverse back to the crossfade. And you can change the duration, how you like it to proceed to the next track. So within the three seconds, it'll start doing that fade effect, which both works perfectly fine, but auto mix is definitely something else. Now, something new that they added on Apple Music is when you go into home, if you go all the way to the very bottom, there's not this new replay your top music category, which allows you to go back to like the current years or previous years, and it will allow you to replay some of your most listened songs. So my time when I subscribed to Apple Music was 20. 18 so I could go all the way back to 18's list and it'll replay all the songs that I used to listen to man Those are a lot of crazy throwbacks. So nice little playful category whenever you're sick and tired of listening to current songs You can always go back to the certain year and re-listen to some of your most listened tracks back in the day a nice beautiful feature Now let's go ahead and cover Apple CarPlay side of things because there's quite a few now, Apple Music actually received a massive overhaul because now it actually features auto mix. And if you like to disable the auto mix ability, just tap on the little Q right here. You can literally disable it right here if you like. And the auto play would just allow your current playlist Q to constantly be filled up with a new track that you may end up liking. Based off Apple intelligence, of course. But that's how you can enable auto mix if you don't like that DJ transition from the next track, which works really well. It matches the tone of the current track that's playing with the upcoming one. So very similar to like a DJ, it'll automatically make that nice smooth transition. I highly recommend checking that out. But exiting out of here, another thing they added is filters. You see, not only is the layout for your like Apple Music homepage is totally overhauled. It looks very similar to like how it is. All the options we have on our iPhone is now on Apple CarPlay. But when you select like, let's go on our playlist as an example. If you like to filter things up, you can just tap on it right here. You can filter up your filter settings that you have available. So like favorites or all playlists. So that's kind of neat. And I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, we do have like this, this cute redesign as well. But you could do other stuff what we had, like we were able to do in the past, like the QR code to add other people. But other than that, there you guys have it. Those are all the new incredible features that's available on iOS 26. But for the Apple Music side of things that a lot of people overlooked and some exciting features that's coming out to the public beta, which should be rolling out next week, hopefully on Monday. But aside from that, now you are prepared and right now you know have a general understanding of some amazing tools that Apple integrated for the Apple Music app, which is quite awesome. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching. If you wish to watch more, I highly recommend checking out that video over there where I go in more integrated detail on all the stuff that I got recently added and changed on Apple CarPlay on iOS 26. Thank you so much for watching.